Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to look at the concept of an adjustable array. An adjustable array, quite simply, is one that can be resized at some point after it was created. So we can see here that A1 contains an array which has size 0, so we can put nothing in it. It has no room for anything to go in, but it is adjustable. So if we want to put something in it, we're going to have to change its size. So we're going to do that here. So we're going to do adjust array. We're going to name the array that, like, uh, specify the array that we're um, adjusting, which is A1. And then we're going to give it a new size, which is going to be 5. And now if we look at A2, we can see that we've got an array with 5 elements in it. And it's defaulted to 0, but that value is implementation dependent. So you might want to set initial element or initial contents when you're doing the adjust. An important point to note with adjust array is that adjust array returns an array. And it might be the same as the original, but it might not. Um, this is one of those things that just, this is how the specification has decided it's going to be, so we just have to roll with it. Um, let's have a look. Adjust array changes the dimensions or elements of the array. The result is an array of the same type and rank as the array that either that is either the modified array or a newly created array to which array can be displaced. We won't get into that what exactly that is right now, but the important bit is this thing's going to return a value and that matters. So A2, yeah, is the um, is this value here. A1 has also been modified. So in this case, the implementation has um, modified that existing array, but it doesn't have to be that case. So it's worth reading up on that point and understanding it. But now we've done this, um, let's put some values in there. So I've got a couple of test values. Let's do this actually, let's just make it up. So a ref, um, a2 or a1, it doesn't matter in this case. We're gonna take the first element, we're gonna set it to 10. And I didn't type that right, did I? a2, there we go. And we're going to set, let's say, the th uh, um, fourth element in there to be 20. And then we're going to look at our array again. So let's look at A2. Come on, we can type it. There we go. So now we can see um, we've got there's five elements, 0, 10, 0, 20, 0. We could adjust this again, right? So let's um, adjust this. But this time, we're going to set the length back to 2. Let's change this. Look at A2. And now we can see that this array only has 0 and 10. So we've retained the elements, but the size has changed. And everything that was beyond that point is now gone. So that's all we're going to do with adjustable arrays for today. But we'll come back to this in a lot more detail another time. Thanks for stopping by.